in Chicago, more reaction to the Supreme Court's decision. You can see hundreds of protesters taking to the streets for abortion rights. CBS 2's Jackie Kostick was at that rally and joins us live from Federal Plaza. Jackie. Yeah, Dana, two rallies happened in Federal Plaza today in support of abortion rights. Many activists say that abortion rights were won in the streets back in 1973, and now they need to take to the streets once again to protest against the Supreme Court's decision. Inger. Lifelong Wisconsin resident Donna O'Donnell says that fueled her trek to Chicago to march alongside abortion rights activists. It's a trip she says she may be making more often now that abortion is banned in her home state. It's not a felony for me to take someone to a different state to have an abortion. So you want to hop in the Volkswagen? Let's roll. It. Even before Friday's Supreme Court decision dropped, the volume of calls coming into the Chicago Abortion Fund from women in Wisconsin had about doubled over the past week. That's according to the fund's executive director, Megan JFO. The Chicago Abortion Fund provides financial, logistical, and emotional support support to people seeking abortion care in Chicago. She says the network of abortion funds across the country will be critical in helping women in states where abortion is now banned or restricted. The minute the decision came down, we um, got an email from our, our um, comrades, our people at the, the Women's Medical Fund in Wisconsin that said, OK, this agreement we've been talking about for months kicks in right now. You are able to disperse funding on our behalf. You're able to book hotels on our behalf. You're able to do all of this with the funding that their fund has for Wisconsin residents coming into Illinois. JFO says this kind of cross-state planning has been underway since December, but still, she says this moment is surreal. I'm frightened for next week and just our, our capacity, our emotional state, um, the vicarious trauma that our team is used to, but is is like it really, really hard right now. This is a divisive and controversial issue. And after the Supreme Court's decision came out yesterday, several anti-abortion rights groups were celebrating something that they said they didn't believe would happen in their lifetime. Jackie Kostek, CBS 2 News. All right, Jackie, thanks so much.